Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So the today's video is all about the immigration descendants who are struggling with bringing new leads and new clients into their business through meta ads or Google ads. So if you're running a campaign and you're not getting a leads, so this video is for you. I'm going to, today I'm going to show you that how you can create a proper campaign, a lead on campaign where you get the information and details from your client and get all the leads in really low CPC. So here you can see that we have a campaign live which has a high performance tech and it is a lead form campaign. So we are gathering and collecting data from the the users, the name, email address and few questions and multiple questions uh, about their requirements and we are, get, we are collecting leads directly into Facebook and the leads and the Facebook form is connected to go high level. So all the leads are directly going into the client's go high level pipelines. So as you can see that we have gotten 415 leads from this campaign and the CPC and the CPR is really good 2.43 dollar per lead. So this is a really good campaign and the CTR is really good as you can see the reach is only 30,000 and we got 415 leads out of it. So this is a campaign which has been running since August 20. 2024 and I'm going to show you the current month stats from here let me change it to this month and you can see the performance of this campaign so now still we are we have spent like around six hundred dollars and in 18 days of September we got 249 leads and the CPC is then the CPR is going down on this campaign so it's really good the campaign is running really good. We are getting a good leads and the quality leads from this campaign. So this is what we need. So today I'm going to show you how you can create a proper campaign for immigration descendants and how you can bring leads for them if you're running the campaign for yourself or for your client. So first thing what you need to do is to create a lead form campaign. So let's let me show you how you can start. So once you start with the campaign, what you can do is just don't choose any category here because it's not a special category. So we're not going to choose a category here, but in the campaign section where you need to put the campaign details, you need to set up the type of buying to auction and the lead and the campaign objective should be leads. So we are not going to set up anything in the campaign level. We just set up the budgeting here or you can do same with the ad set level. So if you want, you can set up the budget on the ad set level and that said we don't need to do anything in the campaign level here so the important part of this campaign is the ad set level where we set up everything so in the ad set level what we need to do we're going to select up instant form here and in the performance goal we're going to select the maximum number of leads so it will help our campaign to understand that we are focusing to the leads only not the clicks or any type of visits on our website so we're going to the campaign will be only focused on the maximum number of leads. You can also try with a dynamic creatives as I have created the video on the dynamic creatives with, and I have explained everything about it. It will be a really good opportunity for you. If you have more than like three, four ads, you can create a dynamic campaign, uh, a dynamic ad set, and you can test all your uh, ad creatives and copy in one ad only. You don't need to create all, uh, you don't need to create different type of ads here and you can create only one ad with dynamic creatives. It will really boost your campaign. So this campaign was already running since last month. So we didn't change anything in this campaign, but in our future campaign, we will be testing a dynamic creatives. So it will really help boost our campaign with the immigration considering type of niche. So in the ad set level, you can set up your budget here and the location. So after this, we only selected the placements because for the immigration type niche, we know that most of our clients and the users are on Facebook and Instagram placements. We don't choose the auto, uh, the the audience network placement because most of the time from the audience network, we get low quality or spam leads, which really mess up with the CPR and the uh, and the CTR of the campaign. So we don't go with the audience network. Just un check the audience network from the placement and only run the ads on Facebook and Instagram placements. You can also check your campaign traffic and where they are coming from by going to the, the chart of your campaign. So if you view the chart of your campaign, 
you can easily see that what type of audience you are getting from uh, from where your audience are coming. So if if I go back here, close, and we go to view chart. So in the view chart section, I can show you here that when we go into platform, you can see that the most of our audience are from Facebook and Instagram. We have closed all other placements because we don't know we don't need any type of uh, spam leads or fake leads on our campaign which will mess up the whole performance of our campaign. So now we are back in our ad set level and here the last thing we did was the placement we choose the right placements and that's it. So you have a really good you will have a really good campaign if you also try the dynamic creatives on your campaign. So the ads I cannot show you the ads right now but I can tell you all the tips what we have done and the tricks what we have used to boost the campaign on these ads. So for the immigration consultant ads always create a video ad. Don't go with the carousels or the still image ads they will not work for you. Always create a video ad and uh, and minimum like 9 to 10 seconds ad where you explain all your expertise and the reviews from the clients and what you have done for the clients. So that's better to create a video ad. Don't go with the still images or garrison ads for immigration niche. It will not help you and it will not give you a lot of leads. And also for the ads, when you create a dynamic creative ad set, you will have an ability to add more ad copies into one ad where you can test the different type of ad copies with different ad creatives in a single ad so that will really help you with the campaign so always remember the lead campaign with a really good lead form and also you need to uncheck the audience network from your placement so it will help save your budget based on the audience network and you will utilize your budget on uh, good placements you can see in the ad level here we have three different ads the most performing ad of uh, our campaign is this one where we got 244 leads and if i can show you the maximum number of analytics here you can see it said that why we didn't close the other two ads here because they were giving us some lead so it's like uh, the difference between this ad and this ad for the cost per lead is not really big that's why we didn't close the ad for the 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 other two Ads. So we are still testing the, this one because if we, if it is stops giving us leads in the seven day of period, we will stop the first ad and we'll let these two running. So after a month or two, we're going to refresh the ads. We'll put new ads in the campaign. And the good thing about the the dynamic ad creatives, once you do that, you can easily remove the ads from that campaign and add new ads in the same ad. So you don't have to like deal with the uh, 5 to 10 ads here. You can just have one ad and just keep testing different type of copies and, and creatives in one ad. So it will give you a really good uh, analytics. So if so, the thing is like it will, came, it will come into your mind that how we're going to see the analytics for those type of dynamic ads. It's really easy. So if, just imagine that you're running just one, cam, one ad here with dynamic ads and it got like 10 different creatives and 10 different ad copies here so just select your ad here and click on breakdown and once you're here just click on this image video and slideshow or you can just scroll down here and go to dynamic creative elements and here you got all the options to to sort your campaign or filter your campaign so just you can click on image video and slide so it will break down the whole ad and give you all your creatives in this screen and show you different type of uh, analytics for those ads and you'll know that which ad is working uh, better and which ad is converting and you can also break it down with the text and headlines so it's a really good option in facebook ad manager to use and it will help you to boost your facebook campaign if you still have any problem with your facebook campaigns and you're struggling to bring the leads in you can book a consultation call with me i will drop a link in the description and i will be glad to overview your campaigns and help you out and same as before, we have been running the Facebook lead campaign. You can see here that we've got really good CTR and the CPR of the of lead 
platform campaigns. So it's always important to collect the data instead of going to the website leads and sending traffic to website, creating a landing page. This is the fastest way to collect the leads in your Facebook ad campaigns. Okay guys, so I hope this video helps you to understand how to create a proper campaign for immigration consultants and get low CPR leads from those campaigns. I will see you in the next video. Till then, subscribe the channel and like this video. Thank you.